Hey, friends and family. I'm so excited to tell you guys all about my trip backpacking through the country. It's gonna be great. Um, I'm gonna splice all my footage together at the end and uh, have a little movie premiere with you guys. Um, you know, after my engagement, getting broken up with Marcus and losing my job, I just, um, I need something so I could go out and find myself again. Um, and I think this will be a great way to do it. Look at this place, it's beautiful. It's a little wet, I forgot my coat, but I'll just buy one when I get to the next town. I'm gonna be here for a couple of nights and then on the road again, heading west. You know, I know the trip's just started, but like I'm already getting into this reflective mood about everything that went down with Marcus and just how beautiful our moments were together, you know, and I'm sad that it's over. I'm crushed, you know, since he ran off with Laura, but like this just gives me an opportunity to fall in love all over again and you know, jobs come and go, Sears, whatever, but you know, I'm 28, like Jennifer, get it together. <laughs> all your friends are getting married and starting their families and you're just cooping off in a forest in the middle of nowhere. I'm in this weird little town, right? Well, like three miles outside of it. And none of the locals ever go in the forest, I guess. These people looked at me like I was crazy when I told them I wanted to camp around here. But I guess there's something of like a local legend, but the townspeople are way too spooked to tell me any of it. So, you know, it's not like any of it's real, but I did hear a couple people have gone missing around these parts. So I'll be on my toes watching, watching my six, you know, all that jargon. But I'm excited, you know, I don't, feel like there's anything nefarious going on so even the cab driver stopped half a mile away from the freaking forest because he was like there's no way I'm getting close to there so I had to walk half a mile just down this deserted ass road to get here but now that I'm here like I don't know I'm wet very wet and that's unfortunate but I'm having a good time and like I don't know. I think it'll be a really fun trip. But I miss you guys so much and I can't wait to come home in three to four months. We'll see. But you know, I'll call as I go. Early start on day two and I just wanted to show you something that I came across. Um, it's a little odd. Uh, I don't really know how long it's been here or like I, I don't even know if like it's man-made but it looks like a burrow or like a tent or something I haven't seen any evidence of like a campfire around or any like footprints or any like trash from a person so I don't really I don't know it gives me kind of this like eerie, spooky feeling though. <sighs> All right, I've been walking around for a couple hours now. Uh, found this spot. It's nice, it's pretty, it's clear. There's a little stream, 20 feet over there. So, got some more water. But, um, yeah, I think, I think I might sleep under the stars tonight. Oh. What is that? Oh, dude. All right, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's starting to sprinkle, so I think my night under the stars is canceled. Which sucks, but you know. What the fuck? 